Hi friends, good to see you today. Well, I have my bulletin board background up today, so that's kind of different. And we're gonna learn a little bit more about how Jesus teaches and heals. Now you notice Shauna's not with me today because she had lots of homework to do. So I'm gonna try and do the lesson all by myself. All right, well, we're gonna start off with a little activity. You know, we've been making our God's world here and one of our continents says healed. The other one says happy. We're gonna make another continent right now. So I'm gonna rip one out of my green piece of paper that I have and I'm running out of room with my continents. So I'm gonna to have to make this a little bit smaller. Maybe it'll be a piece of a continent. And on this continent today, I want to write the word safe. So I'm gonna do that with my pen here. We're going to talk about being safe today, and I need a glue stick to help me out. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of my continent here, and I think I'm going to put that. Now, there might not really be a continent up here, but I put it right up near the top there, so it says safe right there. Remember, keep this for next week. We have another word that we're going to add on to that, con onto that world, God's world. All righty. Well, we're going to talk about how God keeps us safe and how we don't need to feel worry about things. And we heard a bit of this story last week, and I'm going to read from my beginner's Bible. And it's about Jesus teaching on a mountain still. All sorts of people went to see Jesus. Children, mothers, fathers, grandmas, and grandpas, they all wanted to hear what he was teaching. Look at the birds, said Jesus. Do they store up food in a barn? No, God feeds them. Look at the flowers, said Jesus. They don't work or make clothes. God dresses them in lush leaves and pretty petals. Then Jesus said, you are much more important than birds. You are much more important than flowers. So do not worry. If God takes care of them, God will take care of you. Sometimes it's hard to not worry, isn't it? Sometimes I worry about things, but I try and remember that if I'm feeling worried about something, I can pray to God, I can tell God about it, and it makes me feel better. Well, friends, let's take a look at the papers that you have in your packet today. So the first, for the preschoolers, you have a picture here. It says to find the birds and then color the picture. So there are some hidden birds. Whoop, I have to put it right in front of me so you can see it. Hidden birds in there that you need to find and then you can color the whole picture. And younger elementary students, you have this really cool picture of a bird that you can color. I just love it. I think it would work really well if you used colored pencils or fine tip markers on that, because then you could really color it beautifully. And older elementary kids, you have a code to figure out. I always like trying to figure out codes. Jesus used birds and flowers to help teach about God. Use the number code to find the words below, then draw a line matching each word to either the bird or to the flower. Very cool. And I put one other picture or one other paper in here for everybody. So you need to choose two different colors of pencils, okay, or crayons. So one color you're gonna choose, you're gonna color all the little squares that have number ones in them, and then use the other color to color all the squares that have number two, and some kind of a special message or picture is going to show up. That would be exciting. And then we have something that kind of using our lesson to put it into practice, to kind of practice what we're hearing about. And this is called what not to worry about. And you can have a grown up help you with this or an older brother or sister. Jesus told his disciples not to worry. What were they not supposed to worry about? So you need to look in the book of Matthew chapter six, verse 31. And then you can answer the questions. So it says, do not worry about what you are going to. Do not worry about what you are going to. 
and you need to fill in those blanks. And then at the bottom, it says, read Matthew 6.32. Why shouldn't we worry about those things? Why do you think we shouldn't worry about those things? Hmm, I don't know. You know, one of the other activities they suggested that we do this week is because we're talking about birds, maybe we could do a bird feeder. But I've also heard that there's um, some, some birds are getting a sickness from going to bird feeders. And so they're asking people not to put out bird seeds. So maybe we can think of something we can do, or maybe we can listen to the news and see if it's okay to put out bird feed, feeders. But if you have something that you could feed the birds in the winter, usually that's a good idea. All right, one last thing that we always do is we have our comic and we have a responsive reading. Now I'm all here by myself, but I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, so we can see this and this is called Birds in the Sky. There we go. And it's Matthew 6 verses 25 through 34. Now, I think maybe if you're sitting kind of close to a screen, maybe I could read the small words. You could read the bold words. I'll read them with you too, but you can read along with me when we get to the bold part. So here we go. Crowds of people came to Jesus to be healed and to be taught about God's kingdom. Now all together, Jesus and his disciples went up on a mountain his followers came to hear what Jesus had to say. Jesus wanted to teach the people not to worry. Jesus said, do not worry about your life. If you are hungry, God will give you food. If you need clothing, God will give you clothes. Look at the birds. Do they work like people do? They don't worry about how they will be fed. God feeds them anyway. Look at the lilies. They don't make clothes, but look how beautiful they are. God cares for you even more than birds and flowers. Do not worry, God will take care of you. And then at the bottom of the page, there's a little devotion that you can do. All right, I'm gonna stop my screen sharing so you can see me again. Well, friends, I've been glad that you've been here today and Shauna will be back next week to help me out, okay? But would you join me with a little prayer? Dear God, I thank you so much for the young people who are listening today. Help us to remember that you will take care of us. If we are worried about something, help us to remember to take it to you in prayer. And you will hear us and you will answer us. Be with us this week as we work and as we play and bring us together again next week. We ask all this in your son Jesus' name and all God's children said, amen. Thanks, friends. See you next week.